time for the Bringing Back Basic Gray collaboration and I have a variety of basic gray papers here that I'm going to play with and we're going to do a little scrapbooking today. Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome. It is the Bringing Back Basic Gray collaboration and this is just a collaboration I do with my friend Sarah who's crafting and relaxing here on YouTube and Kathy, who's Stampin' Cat over on Instagram. We all love and have hoarded basic gray papers over the years and have decided that each month we're gonna pull out some and just play with them and enjoy the paper instead of it just sitting in a drawer forever. So this month I need to get some scrapbooking done. I am, my original goal was to get through 2017, like all 2017 pictures scrapbooked and in an album by the end of this year and I am way behind. So I decided that I needed to combine basic gray with my scrapbooking goal. So I have pulled out a variety of kind of papers that are like golds and greens with a little bit of red. I have pictures from New Year's Eve 2017. Yes. And so I had don't really have a plan just yet of what I'm going to do, but I figured like a, like greens and golds would be good. Um, it's kind of something festive. So I pulled out a variety of papers. Like these were just kind of all in my stash. They're from different collections, like aged and confused, motifica, um, just some, a variety. And then I had in my stash from a long time ago, I don't even know what company this is from. This is all that's left, but it's just a sticker that says Happy New Year. So I decided it kind of went color-wise, so I'm going to go ahead and use that as a title for one. Um, I'm probably just going to make one page with you guys, but I do have pictures for myself and both of my daughters to do pages for one for each of us. So I have three pages total that I'll need to make. So I also brought in letters from this perhaps collection pack from basic gray this was gifted to me by sarah and so i thought i could maybe make use of the green letters uh for my titles so let me figure out what it is i'm going to do and we will make a page together today i've got my papers narrowed down and this is a sketch i found on pinterest that i want to use for my layout the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is get all of my patterns trimmed down. I ended up deciding to go for more color instead of just greens and golds. I decided to go with the color just for, I guess, festiveness. And I trimmed these first pieces down. These are going to be my main background, and I just trimmed them down to like 10 by 10. And then found some off-white cardstock in my stash to be the page mat. And then I'm going to use one of, or I guess that yellowish gold piece for the vertical stripe. And so I decided that I would just trim it down into three strips of four inches wide. So it's just four by 12. And then the green is going to be circles that are in the background. And so I trimmed out my I think I took it down to like five and a half and then found the biggest die cut circle I had and then also used the negative space to get some balloons and stars cut out. I'm going to ink the edges of all of my pieces just so it kind of matches the grunginess of the paper and some of the paper I have has that already on one edge but because I trimmed it down I kind of trimmed off the grunginess so adding it back. All of my pieces have the ink. I'm going to take my circle and cut it in half because you only see like two pieces or two, you see two half circles sticking out on either edge of the layout. I'm going to put my main pattern piece on in the middle there and then add my vertical strip. And I am going to tuck these half circles in. Just trying to figure out where I want them, how far in I want them. 
And the one on the right was originally supposed to be under that big layer, but I decided I wanted to show more of the green and so I'm adding it under my vertical strip. And then this piece you didn't actually see me cut because I didn't realize I needed it until I had looked at the sketch again. And so I just used green because I had that leftover. I'm going to add my photos on and then we can work on embellishing. I did trim my photos down and we have some friends that we've been getting together with on New Year's Eve for at least 10 years, if not more. Uh, the kids were tiny when we started doing it. And so these pictures are just us or the kids enjoying one of the early countdowns on New Year's Eve. I'm bringing in the green letters that I talked about in the beginning to spell out Happy New Year's for my title and needed to adjust an X to make it a Y because there was only one Y left. And then I realized I wanted to switch them out a little bit so that I could have more space to trim around each individual word instead of the whole title. I'm adding some glue to the back of the stickers because they didn't seem super sticky to me. So I just wanted to make sure that they were going to stay adhered. I'll finish my last word here and get that trimmed out. And then figure out where I want to put it on my page. So get those lined up and then I have some journaling strips that I have already written on and cut down and I just need to figure out where I want to put those. So I decided to kind of go in the opposite corner from where my title was. And then I had die cut some stars and balloons because I didn't have any embellishments that went with these papers and so I just decided to come up with some festive embellishments that I could make myself. And so I just decided balloons and stars would be good for New Year's. I have various sizes of balloons and stars, and so I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put them, arrange them on my page. So I fiddle with this for a little bit. And then once I get everything where I want to put it, I need to go and do the process of inking everything. The layout itself went pretty quickly. I think I spent most of the time on this layout just inking all of the edges. I like the way it turned out with the inking because it definitely kind of made things fit in better together so you didn't have like stark white accents and it made things stand out against the, the busy background but it definitely took some time. Now I just get to go and adhere everything down. I'm just using my Barely Art glue for this just because everything is kind of smaller bits and pieces. So for this collab, we don't necessarily focus on using everything, like we don't focus on using something up. We don't necessarily want to get rid of all of our basic gray paper at one time, but we do just want to pull some out every month and enjoy it. And if you've followed along at all on our basic gray adventure, you know that the we have or at least myself anyway, I have a plenty of the paper, but I don't have a lot of embellishments that go along with it. So that has been my biggest struggle at this point. So I end up having to make some embellishments to go along. Every once in a while, I will find um, like a, I think K and Company or there's been a couple of older companies that have had kind of like that vintage look that will work with the kind of the grunginess of basic gray because basic gray no longer makes paper so i'm just going to add some strings to the balloon just to make them look connected to the paper and then my layout is done Here's the one you saw me make. 
they all differ slightly just because of the title is different for each one and then that kind of affected where things kind of played out. This was the, actually the first one I did to kind of test out the layout and did the letters and realized I didn't want to ink all of the letters. And once I put them on, I'm like, okay, so they need to pop out more. So that's why I added these letters onto that kind of off-white cardstock. So, and then the last one I did had, I went ahead and used that sticker that I had for Happy New Year and backed it on some of that same white cardstock. And then, you know, again, the big square piece was different on all of them. The balloons may have been different on all of them and things kind of played out a little bit differently. But that is my three layouts for New Year's for me and my girls using various basic gray papers and letter stickers. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to check out the links for Sarah and Kathy in the description box below. And I will also include a link to this um, sketch for the layout that I used. But I thank you guys so much for your time today and hope you all have a very crafty day.